Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Just want to run through an example here where I was trying to analyze or trying to work out well, how many of my customers for any product purchased it more than one time. So it's pretty interesting insight and, and it's also a, uh, a, a good way to see well how many products you sell uh, get repeat purchases versus maybe they're just say one-off purchases and then customers never go and purchase them purchase them again so this pattern or or stru formula structure that I utilize in this example could be used in many many different ways especially if you're trying to analyze one dimension sub uh, versus uh, in amongst uh, an, another dimension so what I mean there is I'm saying well we want to analyze customers but our initial context is products so we want to see how many customers uh, and run some logic and uh, through those customers are uh, achieving something versus our products and in this case all we're saying is we want to see how many how many of our customers so if we look down here customers with multiple purchases so I've, I've, I've created a total customers uh, formula here so what this does is it counts up how many customers have bought any of these products and it, and it changes for uh, for any date time frame that you select right but then I've also over any time frame you select trying to find how many of these particular customers have actually purchased this particular product more than once so what I do what I can do is I'll actually just make this a little bit larger so in this case product one here only four customers out of 89 have actually purchased this product more than once and so on and so forth and what we could also do just now that i'm sort of just running through is that you could also work out a percentage and and, and that's how you could evaluate how many of our customers are um, how many of the sales we're making are from um, the same customers or, or brand new customers really good insight so this is this is the formula that you need to create to uh, implement this type of uh, logic or um, to uh, extract this type of result. Now, I love this logic because there's just so many ways you could utilize it. Um, and it combines a number of different functions uh, or DAX uh, formulas that in combination can produce some pretty powerful insights and you can use it in multiple different ways. So the first thing to think about is, well, we need to somehow, so I'm going to drill into this particular part of the formula, and this is where Summarize comes in uh, and works really well. What we're trying to do there is for every single result, so every single context, so just think every single row here, we're trying to evaluate every customer, or we're trying to create a virtual table of every single customer and how many transactions that particular customer has made of that particular product, right? This total transactions, I'll just jump to it very quickly, this total transactions formula is just a count rows of the sales table. So it's just counting up every single um, transaction that has been made uh, from anyone. Um, but, one, but once you put it inside a particular context, in this case we're inside of Summarize, uh, it is calculating up how many transactions each customer has made of every single product because this is the initial context and then we are providing some additional context virtually versus this particular column here. And so just think about this, this, this is a table function and it's, it is creating a virtual table of every single customer who's purchased product one in this case and how many times they have purchased it. And then what we have done to identify which of these customers have purchased more than once is I've placed this virtual table inside the filter function. And then I've said inside um, filter this particular virtual table by total purchases which is this particular column that we created virtually and, and if total purchases is equal or greater to two then retain retain that particular customer in this virtual table so this is really powerful stuff right and i've talked about virtual tables before but this is just again another great insight that you can extract from these virtual tables and then once we have this virtual table which is filtered for these particular customers who purchased more than once then we all we have to do is count rows of this virtual table count the number of customers that are left and count the number of rows that are left in this virtual table and then that is what is going to give us this figure so pretty cool pattern right 
pretty um, pretty interesting way that you can uh, that you can find this insight. And as I mentioned, that we could we could ultimately create another measure here, where we could um, where we could where we could actually work out the percentage, and we could we could then um, very quickly see. So what we could do is we could go customers customers um, multiple multiple uh, purchase percentage and we could go divide by the customers with multiple purchases function or measure that we've created and then combine that with the total customers just realize it's in the wrong table so I'll just move that and then we want to format this to a percentage and then I could drag that into my table and then very quickly you're seeing we can see uh, who are the which are the products which are purchased more regularly by the same clients and so this is a demo data set so it's probably a bit more um, variable than say most businesses you would probably have you know certainly if you're a retailer you're going to have some products you would think that would be purchased more by particular customers who knows it depends it certainly depends what retailer you are maybe your uh, refills or smaller goods uh, you know, that disposable goods they're going to be the ones that are purchased more than others but it's a very interesting inter interesting insight anyway and the way that you achieve it and the technique you use to achieve this inside of power bi is also very very interesting and there's lots of lots of applications for formula structures very similar to this so certainly you want to um, try and get your head around how, how you can incorporate this into your own environments try to think of an insight that uh, where this logic would be helpful um, and then try and use it and, and certainly very quickly from there you'll you'll understand um, yeah, how you could uh, mix and match this to 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 get some sort of insight that you're after Okay, I'm going to round things off there. Uh, certainly, if you like if you like the content, throw the video a like. Really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Uh, new new tutorials coming out all the time, uh, and um, have a lot planned. So uh, so really looking forward to getting those out to you. Okay, all the best. See you soon.